Want to watch football without the restrictions of blackouts or cable? Check out expressvpn.com to help you get access to all the live games. Sign up today using the link in the description to get three free months. Yo, the Bolt fam, video number number two today, number two, because we got some more good news to cover, man. I was at the gym, got the notification, saw it a little bit late, ran home to find out that the Chargers have reached a three-year deal with right tackle Trey Pipkins. Per source, the Chargers get their right tackle. And I got to tell you guys right now, the deal looks pretty sweet. And this is one of those situations where it's like that position was extremely important for the Chargers to get right. Not only get right, but get at the right price. Because going into the season with a complete offensive line, especially with the kind of talent, it's kind of proven talent that we've seen throughout the course of the offensive line from left to right. And yes, that does include uh, Trey Pipkins, who certainly has stepped up in his time as a Charger, one of those pro you know uh, project players that you're hoping develops over the course of a couple of seasons this line is actually looking really good one of the best offensive lines i've seen going into the season as a chargers fan so we got a lot to talk about i want to talk a little bit about what this contract means for the chargers going forward the kind of money that we're saving and starting a guy like trey pipkins and what he can offer this offensive line into the future we're going to talk a little bit about cap two in this video kind of give you guys an idea of what more the chargers can do uh, now that we've got the still remaining cap that we can use as well as what's going to happen to the guys like Matt Filer that can extend in terms of how much more money the Chargers can put in their pockets for free agency. So before we do get started, guys, excited announcement. I meant to do this announcement earlier today. We are kicking off our next giveaway. We're giving away this signed uh, Asante Samuel Jr. jersey. I took it out of the package so you guys could see the jersey here. So did a terrible job putting it back, but a beautiful jersey, Asante Samuel Jr. signed by the man here. All you got to do to enter for this jersey is hit up the link in the description follow the instructions they're super simple and make sure you are subscribed only subs can win this one is of course a thank you from me to you guys my subscribers but of course we don't stop there we do giveaways in twos we're also giving away this awesome signed Sean Merriman lights out Jersey one of my favorite players of all time for the Chargers to one of my crew members all you guys got to do to enter for this is be a member of my crew that is it again this is a huge thank you from me to you guys my crew members you guys really help keep the lights on around here during the off season this is my way of giving back thank you guys so much keeping the lights on with a lights out jersey now with that let's get into this one before we do hit us up with a like and sub if you do enjoy this chargers content small amount of time you guys take to hit the like sub and bell notification helps me out a lot let's get into this one lights camera action Breaking news, the Chargers have just extended Trey Pipkins to a three-year, $22.5 million contract. Very exciting times. This is one of those that, again, we were all kind of waiting for. All right, after I was done filming this video, some more breaking news just broke out. Yes, the Chargers did just release Matt Filer. It's going to free up about $6.5 million. You guys are going to hear me talk a little bit about what this means for our cap situation later on in the video. But just know that as of this moment, it has been confirmed. The Chargers and Matt Filer have officially parted ways. Let's continue on with the video. Now, before we start diving into the details of this deal, I did want to give you guys another update on the Austin Eckler watch. Uh, of course, again, if you guys didn't see my video from yesterday, Austin Eckler has requested a trade from the Chargers so he can get a little bit more money on that deal, of which he's been way overperforming on. Um, of course, we all hope that he stays as a Charger. If not, uh, we're hoping that he finds a really good deal elsewhere and maybe helps the Chargers in, ter in terms of return capital for uh, draft compensation, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Austin Eckler... As of right now, we're hearing rumors that there may be ties to Chicago. Again, everything's super unconfirmed, but it may be the trade partner for the Chargers in the future. It might be the Chicago Bears. What he's worth in terms of compensation, I couldn't tell you. If I was spitballing, I'd tell you guys maybe a second round pick at the very highest. I would project somewhere closer to a third round pick and maybe some change, but um, that's the last we've heard on the Austin Eckler situation. So let's jump right into this next segment here. Oh, by the way, guys, use code director to match your first deposit up to $100 in underdog fantasy. We always have to shout out the sponsor. 
sponsor there. Let's jump right into the Trey Pipkins news here. Now, it seems that Trey Pipkins has signed not only with the Chargers, but at a terrific discount too. Let's actually go up here. This is the next tweet I put out. Holy crap, what an awesome deal. The Chargers re-signed Trey Pipkins to a three-year, $7.25 million per season uh, a contract. So actually, I got my math wrong. It's not $22.5 million. It's uh, $21.75 or something like that, right? Under $22 million is actually a huge, huge steal, even for a guy like Trey Pipkins. Because you guys want to know what's going on in the tackle market right now? Madness. It's 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 pure madness out there, the kind of numbers we're seeing slung in terms of uh, who's getting paid at the tackle position in this season in particular. As a matter of fact, I kind of wanted to show you guys as an example the kind of value that we're getting in Trey Pipkins in comparison to other tackle uh, 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 free agents out there. Now, of course, some people were hoping that the Chargers maybe get an upgrade at right tackle instead of Trey Pipkins let's go out there and spend up and get you know a guy to really bring you know this uh, offensive line to the next level I'm gonna tell you guys right now what that would have cost okay so Orlando Brown he's a left tackle he wants to be paid left tackle money he's not switching back to right tackle Mike McGlinchey who was just paid a five-year 17 and a half million dollar contract on average per season so what's that a total 87 and a half million dollars for Mike McGlinchey. And McGlinchey, he's he's good, right? He's pretty good. I, how much better than Trey Pipkins? I don't know how that much better, dude. Like $10 million more a season uh, uh, better? I don't know if you can convince me of that. Jawan Taylor, who's a fantastic tackle, by the way. And again, don't pay too much attention to the PFF grades. It's a little bit eh, sketchy when it comes to this position in particular. Um, $20 million a season for four years is what he's landing with the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. And again, the Kansas City Chiefs are getting some, themselves a fantastic left tackle. Nearly, again, this is left tackle. So maybe left tackle a little bit more expensive than right tackle. But still, that's the kind of numbers you're looking at. Who else got signed? I know that uh, Caleb McGarry is going to pull in some big numbers, for $15 million a season, right? Double what we're paying for Trey Pipkins. Isaiah Wynn, $10 million a season. He's more of a left tackle anyway. Uh, the only other, I say, guy that might have made me excited would have been Kelvin Beecham. But again, it's a very specific system that he works with, and they got a really good deal for him at $2.5 million. But again, he is 34 years old. Trey Pipkins, a lot younger. He's going to have a lot more longevity with the team. I, I really like the value is what I'm trying to come to say here, guys. So let's actually go down here to Trey Pipkins, who was projected a $6.75 million contract per season. The Chargers paid him just a little bit more than that to keep him with the team for three years. But my oh my, is it an awesome, awesome deal, especially when you start comparing it to these other tackle, you know, uh, uh, free agents in the league that are getting paid double, triple the money uh, for the same position. And I got to tell you guys right now, there's a reason for that, right? Trey Pipkins, he's not going to go out there and perform like uh, uh, some of these top, you know, guys like Jawan Taylor or Mike McGlinchey or Caleb McGarry. Like, I feel like we're we're getting a deal, but we're also how do I how do I explain this? Trey Pipkins is so perfectly above average, right? He's not elite, but he's above average in my opinion. Maybe even just average, which is totally fine. You know how much people pay up the nose to get an average right tackle in the NFL? They pay a lot of money, right? And I feel like Trey Pipkins not only brings you that average, maybe above average play, but a very good, a steep discount, which I'm again say, guys, that is an awesome deal for the Chargers, as well as another element that you really can't purchase outside of the organization. And that 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 element is is chemistry. I don't know about you guys, but chemistry plays such a big role in offensive line play that being able to keep a guy like Trey Pipkins is already worth its weight in gold. Because Trey Pipkins, as we know, um, I think he only allowed, what, a couple of sacks the entire season. Can we take a look at some of his uh, stats from last year? Actually, we can go to the player page here, see how he did last season and, and what the Chargers are getting at. Two sacks! Two sacks, dudes! That's crazy! Of course he's not the best run blocker, but my goodness, he's a good pass blocker. Perfectly average. I like this man. Okay, again, great of around 60, perfectly average. And I'm totally fine with that. At $7 million a season, that's a steal. I do feel like, uh, uh, again, I, I don't know if I, if I would have gone out there and paid $10 million a season more for one of these other guys to get a little bit of an upgrade. When I'm talking about a little bit of an upgrade, uh, maybe we can go back here and take a look at the next guy who got signed in a higher contract. Um, let's take a look at, let's take a look at Jawan Taylor. Right, Jawan Taylor. Take a look at this guy. 
formerly of the Jacksonville Jaguars. He allowed five sacks, right? Very good in pass blocking, maybe not so much in run blocking, but this guy's worth $20 million a season. Trey Pipkins is worth 7.25. That's a, that's a huge steal, man, in my opinion. Again, that's a huge, huge steal. And again, you're getting that chemistry and continuity with that offensive line. All of a sudden, the Chargers are going into the season with one of the best offensive lines I've ever seen in terms of being complete, right? From left to right, you got uh, uh, Rashawn Slater, which a lot of people forget about this dude, man. One of the best left tackles in the entire league. I know he wasn't there last year because of injury, but my goodness, we're getting this guy back. A solid left tackle, a left guard. We got now got Jamari Sawyer, who's going to be stepping into that role, who was, I would say, well above average at left tackle last season. I'm sure he's going to perform well above average at left guard this season. I think he's going to perform better than than uh, Matt Filer did this last year or the, the two years ago when he was kind of in his prime as a charger. I love that. That's crazy. In the center, you got Corey Lindsley, who's probably the best center in all of football. To his right, you've got uh, Zion Johnson. One of the best, you know, rookie guards out there in the in the NFL last season. And then finally, you got Trey Pipkins on the right tackle. Who, again, perfectly average. And that's totally fine. This is a very solid and complete looking starting five. And again, we got it at a very nice discount. Another big bonus to this as well is that I think, you know, you got what Slater on his still on his rookie deal for at least three more seasons. Right. With the with the fifth year option. You've got uh, Jamari Sawyer, rookie deal from last year. He's still here for another four seasons. We've got uh, Corey Lindsley, who I think is on contract until 2025, 2026. I think 2025. There's a couple more seasons there. you got the other rookie in Zion Johnson, who's going to be here another four seasons. And now you've got uh, 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 Trey Pipkins, who's going to be here three seasons. That puts this very solid-looking offensive line with the Chargers for, what, three years at least? The Chargers are set at offensive line for three seasons. When's the last time we could say anything close to that? I'm pretty excited, man. I'm proud of Tom Telesco. I think he did an awesome job with this contract. Of course, we don't know the ins and outs of it quite yet. But this is a great deal for Trey Pipkins, who only allowed two sacks last season. Uh, he's a very, very durable dude. I know that there was injury concerns all season, but you know what? Well, the reason I say, uh, he, I should say he's more tough. He's very tough. He played through a ton of injuries. Some people will be like, oh man, he's always hurt this and that. Not really. And when he was, he played through it for the most part. Very tough dude, man. What a turnaround for him. Drafted in the third round in 2019 by Tom Telesco. A lot of Chargers fans didn't love him. He was a liability at right tackle, left tackle too, I think, for a long time. And then over the course of three seasons, he starts training with Rashawn Slater. It's Merry Man, Merry Weather, whatever his name is. They go and train with that, one of the best trainers in the nation, in the world. He comes back in 2022 and has a heck of a season. And I think he's just getting started, guys. Because you got to think about it this way. If he was that good in this season, right, where he's starting to really turn a corner, imagine how much better he'll be in a couple more years. I think he's not done developing. Right? That's another part of this deal. He's only 26 years old. We're going to see maybe even more improvement from Trey Pipkins as his season continues, as his career continues. So keep that in mind, man. Very complete offensive line. Very excited to see what this looks like going into the season and and how Trey Pipkins is going to affect us in terms of cap. So let's get into that real quick. I wanted to do really kind of a quicker video today, but I wanted to tag this at the end here to kind of give you guys an idea of what we're looking at with money, okay? Because this was such a great deal. I wanted to show you guys how this is going to positively affect our ability to be flexible in free agency, okay? So this is in no way official, okay? I don't have any of the official numbers. I think Eric Kendricks is kind of uh, official. I think $4 million is what we're going to be owing him this season. But again, that's loose. I'm not I'm not positive on that. But I decided to go ahead and take the calculator here and add uh, Eric Kendricks and Trey Pipkins, who we just extended. Okay, so five and a half million dollars for Trey Pipkins is what I'm going to say this season. Maybe it's more, maybe it's less, who knows. But I made sure that his contract rounded out to around $22 million. Okay, uh, Eric Kendricks, his contract, again, does round out to, I think it was $13 million with incentives. Okay, so I don't know what it's actually worth, but again, we're going to save $4 million this season. That still leaves the Chargers at $10 million to spend this year. That's still a decent amount of money. And we haven't even talked about some of the other things that they got to do to, make, to free up more money. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, they could still, and I think this is still a huge possibility. I still think that they're going to uh, restructure Corey Lindsley. I still think this is going to happen. And that would free up another $6 million. Beautiful. Okay. 
I still think you're going to cut Matt Filer. Where is he on this list? Matt Filer, where did you go? Dustin Hopkins, we'll go ahead and cut him real quick. Matt Filer, we must have passed him. There he is. Cutting him is going to save another $6 million. Okay? Or $6.5 million. Then cutting uh, Hopkins is going to save another like million and a half. There's probably a couple other moves down here that you can make. All right? But just at this point, and I think, again, this is very likely. Maybe the only thing I see maybe not happening is Corey Lindsay, but I still think there's a huge possibility of that. That still puts us at $24 million. You subtract, let's say, $3 million. I think it's around that for uh, the rookies. You're still looking at about $20, $21 million. And that leaves you room to go out there and sign more dudes. I think one guy that we're definitely going to see that I teased in this morning's video is John Johnson. Now, there was a tweet put out by um, an official source. I don't remember what his name was. Actually, we can go back to the Twitter real quick just to make sure that we are validated here and what we're trying to talk about. John Johnson, uh, right here. Jeremy Fowler, of course. Jeremy Fowler said that the Chargers are expected to pursue safety John Johnson, who will be released by the Browns this week. All right. This is a great fit. I talked about this in my last video. John Johnson is an awesome fit with the Chargers, and this is somebody I fully expect them to go out there and get. Now, I would expect John Johnson, I would actually be happy with him on a two or three year deal. So for the sake of argument, let's put him here on a three year, on a two year deal actually. A three year deal I think is fine. And let's put him on an average of, I would guess John Johnson's gonna be somewhere around $7 million, maybe, maybe five, who knows? Actually, I have no idea. I don't know what he's worth out here. Let's actually do some live in-person uh, um, uh, research out here with the Bolt fam, man. So free agent rankings. Let's go ahead and put John Johnson. There we go. Five and a half million dollars. Actually, we weren't too far off. We weren't too far. So five and a half million dollars for one year. I would expect the Chargers to sign him for at least two. So let's go ahead and give him an eleven million dollar contract. Let's put um, let's put let's put four million dollars in the first year, and then let's put uh, let's put six million dollars uh, or seven million dollars in the second year. Right. And then we will take out the fifth. I, th I think that's fine. Right. So let's just say uh, uh, John Johnson here. He'll be on the books for five million dollars in his first season. Not too bad. Right. Not too bad. Uh, that still leaves you 19 million dollars to play with. And you know what, dudes? I'm honestly thinking that it depends on really what Kellen Moore wants, because if you guys take a look right now, other than Trey Pipkins, it's been a very defensive oriented free agency. I think if we see any splash signing, it it's going to be on offense. And I think, again, the biggest name that you can probably convince me the Chargers are going to go out there in terms of making a splash signing, it would be Dalton Schultz. And I would expect at least a three, maybe four-year contract for him. And I would, I, would, I would suspect it would be somewhere in the $10 million range. As a matter of fact, let's do the live research with the Bull fam one more time. Uh, let's see. Schultz. Uh, oh, $14 million. I think that's super high. I, I'm going to say, for the sake of argument, let's say that it is that. I would say that the Chargers probably pay him like $8 million the first season, probably $10 million the second season, probably 16 the next season, and then you're looking, oops, $16 million the next season. And then uh, at that point, let's take out our handy-dandy calculator here. So how many seasons? Let's see, four seasons. So 14.5 times 4, 58 minus 8, minus 10, minus 16. That would leave us with about $24 million. Okay, so not, not the cleanest contract here, but you guys get the picture, right? We'll go ahead and put that down here. Dalton Schultz could be added to the roster for about $8 million bucks, and then you still have $12, $12 million to spend. I would say you pocket a lot of that. Uh, $3 million for the rookies, uh, $9 million for in-season spending and rollover cap next season. There's stuff that you can still do with that money too, but again, I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of where the Chargers are money-wise. And this is with adding John Johnson. This is with adding Dalton Schultz. Let's say the Chargers don't want to go in on tight end, right? Let's say they wanted that's what their plans are in uh, the first uh, uh, the first round of uh, the draft this season. Maybe they don't decide to go after Dalton Schultz. Maybe they do because they want to go after a running back this season. Now, again, this is another thing to take into consideration. If the Chargers do trade a uh, um, uh, Austin Eckler, it is going to have an effect on our cap a little bit. Actually, a pretty significant one. Let's go ahead and say trade. That saves $6.25 million. Let's go ahead and submit that. Let's say the Chargers do trade him, right? That spikes us up to close to $30 million. Let's actually take out John Johnson for a second there uh, and just do the other moves that I think the Chargers are likely to do. That's $30 million after we've already signed Kendricks and, and re-signed uh, Trey Pipkins. The money is looking pretty good. Now, of course, you got to replace that. Uh, try to replace that talent in Austin Eckler, but you know, if I'm the Chargers, I'm looking at B. John Johnson or B. John Robinson, I think number one. Number two, you can maybe sign a guy like Alexander Madison, who's only gonna be a couple of uh, um, 
million dollars. This is one of those big moves that I really hope that the Chargers... Actually, let's just go with Madison. That I hope the Chargers make regardless of what they're trying to do in the draft. You could sign Alexander Madison for two seasons at like $2 million a season. Not even kidding. That's kind of what he's rejected. And you could still go out there and uh, draft the Bijan Robinson if he's available. Because the worst thing that's going to happen is that you have some crazy uh, competition at RB2 in camp this season. I think Alexander Madison would definitely win that job. And then you have a heck of a running back duo in Alexander Madison and Bijan Robinson. That'd be nuts. That's one of the only ways I'm like, okay, we lost, you know, Austin Eckler, but man, look at the running back room now. That's crazy. All right. There's a lot of room to do stuff. And again, I'm starting to think that the money situation is looking a lot better than we all anticipated. So you guys let me know in the comment section below what you think. Again, not too long of a video, maybe a little unorganized, but I wanted to share with you guys my optimism and what's going on with Trey Pipkins, what's going on with the money, and let, maybe updating a little bit what's going on with, uh, with Austin Eckler. I'm going to check Twitter one more time because again, there's things dropping left and right here, man. We're doing our second video of the day. Do we need to do a third? I don't know. But right now it's looking like... Uh, Right now, it's looking like things are slowing down a little bit. Tomorrow could get crazy, so keep those notifications on. This is when you can actually start signing contracts. This is what, like, the day the free agent frenzy is really coming to, like, one of the bigger days of of, of the season for the offseason. So just keep those uh, notifications ready, and we should have a good time tomorrow. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This has been The Director. If you like what you saw here, hit us up with a like and sub on your way out. Make sure to check out the links in the description for the giveaways for the Sean Merriman and the Asante Samuel Jr. Uh, and, again, thank you so much for all the support, man. That's why we're doing this. Just say thank you for everybody keeping this dream alive on YouTube with the Chargers and all that. You guys are amazing. Well, guys, uh, we'll see you next time. As always, both of up, stay frosty and uh let's go out there and uh make that splash signing man we got the money